Today's socks are the spatter groit pattern from the Naughty Gnome. And the yarn is Chili Knits. I want to say Imagination maybe. I'm not positive, but as always, I have a projects page if you are interested. And then the heels and toes were just done in a knit pick stroll. And I did a German short row heel in all garter for this one. So that is today's socks. And I love this pattern. It comes down the leg and then goes across the foot. It was a lot of fun to do. What are you reading, Wyatt? <laughs> do you like it? Uh huh. Is that a good book? Uh huh. Hi, the elf is just hanging out on top of my blanket ladder in the living room today. Look how cute he is. His hat and his scarf. He doesn't really need it today though. It's 7 a.m. and it's 65 degrees outside. But he's hanging out on this blanket ladder. These are blankets. The top one right there, that's one that I crocheted. And then the gray one is actually a prayer shawl that my granny made. And then this one here on the bottom is a blanket I crocheted. And the way that I did this one, I did it a few years ago probably about four years ago. And I did one for each of the boys and it was kind of, it was supposed to be a year long project, but it didn't last all year. But I did a row a day and the boys got to pick a collar out of my yarn stash. And it's all acrylic. This, like I said, this was four years ago, four, five years ago maybe. It was quite a while ago. But they would go in each day and just pick a yarn, and that's what I would do for that day. And I think this one might have been Wyatt's, because I think he repeated colors a few times. You can see two days in a row he chose that. I'm not sure. It might have been Austin's. I can't remember which was which now, but yeah, it was just a fun thing to do and let them pick out a yarn each day. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, December 6th. It's about 7.15 a.m. Normally I check in with you guys a little earlier in the morning after I've gotten up and I'm relaxing before I get the kids up, but I didn't this morning, so I am checking in with y'all now. The kids are off on the bus to school. I am going to make myself some coffee and look. I just have a toe to do. Yesterday I posted on Instagram, can I get these done today? And obviously I didn't. <laughs> so I just have the toe to do. So I'm gonna sit down after I make some coffee and put that toe in. There's Chloe. Put that toe in and then those socks will be done. I don't know, what, what, what's the deal? What, what, what? You're crazy. crazy dog. So, and here comes Moosey. She cannot stand to be left out. Ooh, oh, she almost didn't make it. There's Gracie. There's Gracie. Um, do I know what I was saying? No. The dogs. The dogs. The dogs. So I am going to plan on getting a lot of work done on Christmas presents today. That's the plan. Gracie. Gracie, can you say hi? Look, who is that? <gasps> who is that? Who is that? Well, she's a pretty girl. What do you see outside? She's always on the hunt for squirrels. 
little rabbits. Is there a squirrel? Squirrel? Where's the squirrel? Where's the squirrel at? Huh? Where's the squirrel? just got off of Sue's Periscope. Um, she just finished up for the morning and I thought I would share with you guys a few of the cross stitch pictures that I've completed for our house because Sue showing her cozy memories got me wanting to work on that and she's been all about cross stitch lately and it has really made me want to work on some cross stitching. So I'm going to show you two of the pictures that I've done for our house. Here is one of the pictures. I made this, goodness, I don't know how many years ago. It's been quite a while ago. And I did the year that we got married. I got married in 2006. And I love it. This was one of my favorite cross stitches that I've done. Here's the second one that I've done for our home. And this one I need to take out and reframe. It's a little worse for wear. You can see the fabric's a little scrunched up. This last move, because I finished this in Arizona, and this last move, it came a little loose, the back of the frame, and yeah, it needs to be restretched and re reframed. But this was from a kit that was given to me by a lady that we went to church with in Florida. And it was actually a kit for a light switch frame, a double one, not a single one. And you would have cut out holes right in here um, for the switches. But I just made it into a regular picture. Since we moved so much, I thought I don't want to put that in a light switch cover. So I just framed it. I think it is so sweet. I think those are the only two that I've done for our house. Now I have done, and I don't even know if I have any pictures of it. I'm sure I do somewhere. I did a Wizard of Oz. I'm pouring myself some more coffee. I did a Wizard of Oz picture for my sister Cassie who I know I've talked about before how obsessed she is with the Wizard of Oz but I did a Wizard of Oz picture for her it had Dorothy on the side and then the lyrics to somewhere over the rainbow and I gave that to her for Christmas quite a while ago I think it was when we lived in Florida but uh, that's the three cross stitch pictures that I finished I don't think I finished anymore um, I have so many I would love to finish. And Sue, you are such an enabler. You, I want to cross stitch now and I want to work on cozy memories. And neither of those are gift knitting. Dun, dun, dun. So I had a viewer ask who plays the guitars that were behind me on yesterday's Vlogmas episode. These guitars are actually, they were my grandfather's, my papa's, and he has not been with us for quite a while. When we got these guitars, Eric took them out, and looked them over, and then said that he could not bear to change the strings on them. He said that these would have been the strings that my papa played on the last time he played and my papa loved to play guitar. So Eric said that he couldn't change the strings on them because papa would have played these strings. Which I won't lie, that made me quite emotional. <laughs> so we, Eric cleaned them up. And we decided to hang them up in here. And I'm gonna give you a peek here, but this is quite a mess because I'm in like full on Christmas crazy gift knitting mode. So this is where I sit and knit, right over here. And I've got some of my knitting stuff here, um, not all of it, 
but we hung it right over here so I can see them and remember him. My papa and my nanny, very, very special people in my life, basically lived with them, especially when dad had to work. So these mean a lot to me that I have them and that I can see them and to know that those strings are the last strings he would have played on. It's very, very special. So that is who these guitars belong to. Now Eric does play guitar. We have a ton of guitars that are his and the boys each have a few they're learning here and there, but yes, no one plays these. They just hang up here and carry lots of wonderful memories with them. Look what is done. Both of them, they're done. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious, they're done. They're done, done. <laughs> yes, another Christmas gift, done. So now I'm working on, come over here and sit down. Gracie has come in here to see who I am talking to. But I am now working on the mandala waistcoat for my sister Courtney. It is crochet and let me see here. Oh, sorry. Hands in the way. I am on round 14 of 38. Yeah. So the rows will obviously, I'm working in the round, so they're going to get bigger every time. But I think I can have it done fairly quickly if I buckle down on it now that I'm done with the Packer socks because I was ready to be done with those. <laughs> and I'm going to work on this now for the rest of the afternoon and see how much of a dent I can put in this.